record-breaking hurricane force winds are hitting us early in the season this year. We're looking at sustained gusts of over 97 miles an hour. Several towns are without power. Stand by for a list of evacuation zones. The storm's coming in fast. We should head over to Pages. She's got a basement. <laughs> <laughs> The road. I can't get out. Huh? Thank you for saving my dog. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? You can't get out. The roads are all closed. No, I don't want to talk about stuff. I'm going to go wait it out of my barn. No, let's go. I'm coming too. Looks like you waited a little long yourself, Colin. Power and cell service says throughout the valley. This may be the storm of the century. Reports of tornadoes touching down, the worst is still heading our way. If you can hear this, take shelter immediately. The time for evacuation is over. Looks like we'll be here on that. Um, my dad has some work clothes you can throw on, some pants. Yeah, and no, shirts you, you and... let me stay in your barn, and uh, I'm not gonna. They could drive close to us. No, don't worry. I have my own work clothes here, actually. Oh, good. Well, I'm sure you look good in anything. Um, I'm gonna... Becky? Of all the guys in town, Colin Trump. Snowbug and not so bug. And that's it. And repeat. Okay. Everybody ready? Ready. Set. Go. Inside. Outside. 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 We're gonna win this. Inside. We're gonna win. Outside. Inside. Outside. 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 Outside.
thought we were gonna win. <laughs> Fine. We were outgunned. No problem. But um, how about you being my partner for the wheelbarrow race? Deal. Yeah. Right, let's get this off. Yeah. Let's go. Zero. Is it me or they? No. Here's a vibe. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Lemonade. I believe you like lemonade. How'd you know that? Ah, uh, birthday parties when we were kids. <laughs> right, yeah. right, I remember. But it was lemonade and chocolate cake. Right. Remember, because together that would be weird, right. but apart, it's perfect. Perfection. For me personally, I like milk with my cake. <laughs> I know it's weird. <laughs> Today's been really fun. Yeah. I've even enjoyed losing that race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go out on a limb here, but I think this would be really fun to do again next week. Fair's not gonna be back till end of the month. <laughs> oh, I know, not the fair. Oh, I just meant coffee or, or a movie or something. I'll get the tickets, you get the popcorn. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Lauren, I'm, I'm sorry. Lauren. No, I, I get it. I'm doing you a favor. I get it. Honestly. Lauren. It's about time for you and me to, uh, get the hay. Seriously? Yeah. This is for you. And I'll be, I'll be over here. No, 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 you're, you're the guest. You can sleep in the bed. No, no, that's, that's not gonna happen. This is your barn. You were kind enough to Take me in out of the storm, so. You know, I didn't give you much of a choice. And apparently, you don't like me very much, I don't think. You know what, Colin? You made that bed. What are you talking about? Colin, you remember exactly what I'm talking about. No, what I remember, I remember being here for one of your birthday parties. I remember hiding right here during a game of hide and seek. It took me a couple hours to realize no one was going to find me. I forgot about that. You know, the parents were pretty worried about you. Parents were worried? I was worried. I was worried I was going to miss it on that cake and ice cream. I booked it on back down to the party. It's a great cake. Fun party, too. You know what? I. I also remember running into you at the, uh, the picnic. Yeah, about five years ago now. Well, Lauren, look, I did you a favor, believe me. You were a school teacher, and, 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 and people would have talked, I promise. They talked anyway. No, but the stories would have been much different. Yeah, but I would not have cared. I'm sorry. I could sleep that well. With 2,000 homes without power and the main roads closed, we're asking those without shelter to call the emergency hotline. Shelters have been set up at community centers across the state.
Lorna, I'm so sorry. This is my house. This is where I grew up. Like, all of my memories are here. Lauren, a lot of this stuff isn't ruined. You know, you just, just dry it out, get the water off of it before the mold sets in. I guess. I guess. No, things are just things, Lauren. Well, but they were my things, though. Right. But they weren't you. They weren't the dancer. They weren't your parents. I know, you're right. I'm gonna rebuild this house myself. Yeah? Yes. I know I can do it. When I was a little girl, I would sit there and I'd watch my parents fix everything, everything in our house. And then I grew up and I learned how to do the same. My dad and I built that barn that kept us safe last night. And I have watched hours and hours of home rental shows. Well, one thing's for sure, it's gonna be a lot of work, but you know, I can help if you want. No, but it's, it's rewarding work. And, and it's the summer, so I have time to do it before school starts. I could build this house exactly how I've always wanted it to be. I think this might be a good thing. A sign. A sign? Yes. How's that? You know, I've been feeling a little stuck lately just a little down, and I think this might be a good chance to rebuild myself. So, Lauren, what do you want to do next? First, I'm going to stop feeling sorry for myself. I know there are plenty of folks out there who are way worse off than I am. Stranded, hurt, who knows what. I was actually thinking about that earlier this morning. Thought about, uh, be going into town, checking everybody, check the damage. Well, let's go do that. Yeah? All right. All right, why don't we uh, throw on a change of clothes? Yeah, okay. Good idea. I'm sorry about last night. What about? It's bringing up the past. I shouldn't have done that. No, I'm sorry. For that day at the fair. Thank you, but you are allowed to date whoever you want. Believe me, you did dodge a bullet with me. Okay? Being single is kind of my lot in life, I guess. But what about you? Anyone you're seeing? Uh, yeah, my boyfriend, Dane. Well, he's my fiance, actually. Well, kind of. Kinda? It's a kind of fiance. What's this? Frida. Colin? Lauren? Hey, Frida, how are you and Hector doing? We're good. Can't say as much for Mayor Wallace. Did you hear? No. What happened? Heart attack. He was checking on some people and a tree fell. Landed on the hood of his car, just like that. He didn't make it. There's never been a storm like this recorded in the county's history. We're all praying that there aren't any more casualties. I can't believe this. Um, 
Thank you so much, Frida. Mm. Drive safe. You too, Colin. Roads are in bad shape. Hey, Sutter. It's Colin. Yeah, no. How are you? You're not in the hospital or anything, are you? It uh, looked pretty bad up there last night. Yeah, no, uh... Not a scratch. I'm relieved. How's Colin? Mom, not a scratch. His words. He's fine. How's the house? Uh, it should be fine up there. I, uh, actually haven't checked in on it yet. I, um, I spent the night at Lauren Christensen's barn. Excuse me? Nothing, Mom. He didn't say anything. Yeah, he sends his love to you, too. You want to explain? Uh, I'm fine, but um, her house was destroyed in the storm. That's awful. Oh, and good of you to take care of her. Oh, no. She's actually the one who took care of me. She actually got me in out of the storm, kept me dry. How did you end up at her place? I mean, I know you got that property up there next to hers, but you said you don't work it. Yeah, it's a long story. Just her dog, the storm, a fallen oak tree. Hey, hey uh, Sutter, listen, I got to go. Um, this is the only line that we have. OK, uh, just tell me one thing. She's still as good looking as I remember? <laughs> Better. <laughs> you be good to her, Colin. Yeah, tell Mama I love her. I already did. Later. See you. How the shoemaks make out? The road to their barn washed out completely, but they got their animals out early, so. They did. That's some good news, I guess. Hey, going back to what I said earlier about helping you rebuild your house, be no trouble. It's OK. I can figure it out. Thank you. It's, it's not like I think that you need a man's help or anything like that. It's just you know what I do for a living. Right? Yes, you make furniture. And... I'm, I'm a carpenter. Pretty good carpenter, actually. And so helping with your house would be no problem. That's a really nice offer, but no thank you. The phone's free, so I'm going to call my fiance. <clears throat> you have Dane. Hey, it's me. Lauren, my assistant's been trying you for hours. Are you OK? Yes, I'm fine. Um, but my entire house was destroyed. But, and, and sorry, I would have called earlier, but all of the power's out. All the phone lines are down. Your house was destroyed? But my Lauren's OK. I'm fine. I promise. You should move into my Manhattan condo while I'm still closing this deal. And then when I'm done, I'll meet you there. You want me to leave at a time like this? Dane, I, I can't do that. The community needs every single one of us here right now. Look, I just want you to be safe. Thank you, that's, that's sweet. But I'm going to stay here. And yeah. I also want to rebuild my family home myself. Listen, give me a couple hours. I'm going to talk to my assistant. He's going to find you the best crew in the Tri-State area. And they'll be there this afternoon to start construction. A crew? No, no, um, no, 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 it's way too early for any of that. You're going to supervise, even... of course. Dane Richards, you have zero listening skills. My grandparents built that family home, and I'm going to do the same. Lauren, Lauren, I'm, I'm just trying to help. You're a school teacher. You can't build a house by yourself. I know it takes a team to rebuild a home, but that team starts with me. Hey, I need you in here. Excuse me? Sorry, I was rude. And that is why we need to get people out there now, starting the cleanup efforts. This is crazy. The council has made a list of places to start. George, you can look after food and beverage at the park. Nathan, <clears throat> I know you're doing your best with Mayor Wallace, gone and all. But... We need to organize search parties to go out there and find the people who need help. I just spoke with the people from FEMA less than an hour ago. They need the roads clear so that they can deliver the relief supplies. 
food, water, medicine. Right, search and rescue is the main priority right now. You said yourself that FEMA was not going to be here for several days. This is not about you, Colin. Please sit down. Nathan, given the circumstances, I feel like we just set aside our differences. Now here, we look out for each other. That's what we do. Okay, so there are gonna be people out there without clean water, without power. They could be injured, they could be sick. We've got to have search parties to get out there and find those people. Sure. People, people, our fire department is out there right now doing exactly just that. Great, well, we can help them. How many firefighters are there? We have five well-trained professionals. Five? Nathan, that's a lot of ground to cover. And we should split those five up. And each one of those firefighters can be in charge of a small search party of volunteers. We could search the entire town in a day, a day and a half at max. So we'd have five search parties? Five. Fine. Council will radio out to the professionals, and if the firefighters agree, Council will allow it. Nathan, I'd like to suggest that we pause for a moment in remembrance of our Mayor Mitchell Wallace. <clears throat> I was just about to suggest that. We remember our Mayor Mitchell Wallace fondly as we offer our heartfelt condolences to his wife, Paula. Lord, we thank you for keeping our beloved Mitchell in your care. We give thanks for those who are safe, and we ask for your help and encouragement for the long road that lies ahead. Amen. 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 All right. It won't be easy, but together we can do it. Everywhere for you. Oh, we tried to get to you. <sighs> I'm so glad you two made it through the storm okay. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Hey, how are you and Mark? Oh, we just lost the porch and the shed. How about your place? Not as bad as some. Oh, my heart goes out to Carolina Santos. Oh, mine too. Maybe we should get some activities or something from the classroom just to give those kids something to do. Yeah. Five kids can drive so you crazy much. fast. Thank you. Her husband is trying to get home on Friday so they can both be together. <laughs> if the roads are open. Oh, true. Colin, I saw you waving at just now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's helping out with one of the search and rescue teams. Yeah, I heard he was helping, but why are you waving at each other? You hate him. No, I don't hate him. Oh, what? really? I have heard you say the actual words, I hate Colin Trog. I'm just worried about him. You know, Paige, I'm worried about everybody. It's dangerous out there. There are live power lines down. There are complete road closures. Like, so when exactly did the hate stop? Well, last night, we spent the night together in the barn and the- Lauren! Tell me everything. No, nothing happened. No, we, we just got to know each other a little better, that's all. Okay, let's help with the potluck. And you are telling me every detail. Come on. Nothing. Useless technology.
again. Are you in there? Yes! I'm here! I got knocked off my wheelchair! My leg is stuck! Stay calm. Yeah, we have the rescue team here. We're clearing this debris and we'll get you out. Bless you! I've been stuck here for hours. We're here now. Okay, we'll have you out shortly. <laughs> Chicken's a little dry, but the mac and cheese is to die for. Nope. Thank you so much. Thank you. Your boyfriend's a hero. Oh, yeah? Dane's in Australia. What could he have done? No. You're a new boyfriend. I'm an engaged woman. So you officially accepted Dane's proposal, then? Not exactly. See? I love Dane. I have no interest in Colin except as friends, and besides, he made it very clear in the past that he was never interested either. Wait, Hero? He saved Mr. Rodriguez. What happened? Hugo fell out of his wheelchair and spent the entire storm on the floor of his bedroom. He was lucky that Colin found him. Wait, is he gonna be okay? Yeah. Heavens. Joel, he's a firefighter, said Colin cleared the debris and carried Hugo out to the team. Really? Joel said if they hadn't split up like Colin suggested, they wouldn't have got to Hugo for a few more days. And who knows what would have happened by then. got ourselves a real live hero. Well, if you're not interested, maybe I should ask him out. I think you should stop talking and eat some chicken. I hear it's strong. How bad was it out there? Ah. More tough than bad. Why do I feel like you chose the areas that were hardest hit to search? I guess I should have thought that one through a little bit more. You must be exhausted. Compared to what we did, answering phones, ordering a few supplies. Oh, come on. I saw well-fed children in clean clothes that looked very happy. I know that was all you're doing. Okay. 
Paula helped too. So tell me about this fiance. Dane? Um, Dane is an architect. He's actually in Australia right now. He's working on a big project and, um, and then he'll be back here. Is he a good man? Yes. Yes, he's very good to me. But? But, well, when, you, when you're with the person you're supposed to marry, you, you have this gut feeling, right? Right. Unless he isn't. <clears throat> Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Don't be silly. You're freezing. Just take it. Thank you. You're welcome. You should run for mayor. <laughs> because I gave you my jacket? No. Although I would vote for that guy. Pretty sure Nathan wouldn't offer me his jacket. Wow. His heart's in the right place. Yeah, maybe. No, the way you corralled the search and rescue team. And how you helped Mr. Rodriguez, it's... Listen, Joel saved Mr. Rodriguez, okay? I just moved some things out of the way. That's all. We need a good leader in this town, and I'm not so sure that Nathan is the person for that. So you should think about it. Yeah. I think I'll uh, leave running this town to better men. Who said that? You send whoever said that my way, and I'll give them a good talking to. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. What would you say? In under 72 hours, a man who thought I hated him hey. You did hate me. Shh, I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> Although that's fair. This man saved my dog, helped scores of people, and offered to rebuild my family house. Which you refused? Which I appreciated. It's the intent that matters. Okay. And he offered me this lovely jacket because he thought I was cold. You know what? If you're not cold, I'd be more than happy to okay, take this I'm jacket just back. Joking. That's fine. Dane, he's a, he's a lucky guy. <clears throat> we should, uh, we should call it a night, I think. Yeah, I think so. Nathan, hey, have you seen Colin anywhere? Yeah, he's, uh, he went with the firefighters checking the last few homes, then he's heading up one of the cleanup crews. Oh, cell service is back. You can call him if you like. Oh, that's great news. Nathan, how do you feel about starting a crowdfunding campaign? It's perfect. I mean, the community needs help getting back on its feet. I'm not sure insurance is going to pay that much. That's exactly how I feel. I know the homes to the west of the city were the hardest hit. 
I counted 22 exactly, including yours. Let's say 21. I think I'll be okay. Why don't I get some photos of the community just to kind of show the country what we're going through here? Perfect. Want to meet up tomorrow? I'll text you. Hey, Dane. My beautiful Lauren. How's everything flood-wise this morning? It was a beautiful day down under. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. It's Things are still a little bit of a disaster, but we're, we're all pulling through. That's my girl. Yeah. So uh, when are you getting here? Coming in, sorry. Yeah, yeah, when is your project wrapping up so you can come help? Uh, help, happy to help. Just give me the number, I'll wire you the cash. Cash? Thanks. No, 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 no. Dane, this is not about cash, okay? I don't need money. Dane, I need you here. Dancer, come on. Get the set on the phone, will ya? You wanna help Tony with the lumber? All right. You got Excuse it. me. Hello. Hi. What's going on here? Looks like we're rebuilding somebody's home. Yes, this is my house. Ah, you must be Lauren Richards. It's Lauren Christensen. Did a man named Dane put you up to this? Mr. Richards hired us, yes. I need everybody off of my property right now. Excuse me, miss? Yes, I, I need everybody to get off of my property right now. Thank you. I don't need strangers rebuilding my family house. But we've already been paid to do the work. OK, you can actually take all of your work and go work on the Santos family barn down the road. Um, miss, I'm going to have to check with the office. No, no problem. Do, do whatever you need to do, but then you can remove all the crew and go over there, OK? There will be a ton of debris. You'll see it. And there are five young children who desperately need your help. Thank you. Guys, take five. You've Dane. Dane, what is going on on my property right now? Lauren, guess what? I got my assistant to get a great crew. And they're going to be there any minute now. No, yeah, they're all working here right now. Great. They said they'd be fast. No, Dane, I told you I wanted to rebuild my family home myself. But I just wanted to support. <sighs> Dane, you are a great guy. You really are. You have treated me like gold. But there is one thing that has become crystal clear to me, and that is that you have never treated me like an equal. You know, all my thoughts, all my feelings have been completely second to yours. What, Lauren? I... Oh, like, you never listened that time that I told you I didn't want to go to London, or that I didn't need that new car, or that I will never give up being a teacher. Dane, I can't do this anymore. I can't marry you. Lauren. Lauren? up uh -huh. 
You know, you really should get that dog a leash. Yeah, well, <coughs> add it to the list. <coughs> Holy cow. Lauren, how did you build this this fast? It wasn't me. Dane made a few calls. Dane. Beyonce Dane. <coughs> yeah. Fiance Dane. <coughs> Gotta hand it to him. These men do quick work. Yeah, well, now they can do quick work for Carolina Santos. That's a good call. You think? Yeah, absolutely. I've heard you go on about a dozen times about building this yourself. So it's clearly important to you. Wow. I agree, thank you. Hey, listen, also, I need to uh, apologize about last night. You know, we, uh, we almost... We, we almost, but we didn't. Right. Right? That's the important thing. Yeah, because, you know, emotions were high. I don't know. I guess that just... Well, who would have thought? A sanctuary? A night? Be that... Nice, shall we say. Yeah. And the stained glass windows were... Really nice as well. It won't happen again. Good promise. Good call. So, what's next for you in this house, Miss Lorne? This house? Well, um, actually, I was hoping to recruit a nice, strong person to help me lift some heavy furniture. I guess that's me. <laughs> All right, just a few feet back there. Pivot to your right. Right. And we'll just go right to that wall. Okay, right here? Yep. <clears throat> Amazing. Ah. 
Can I just need your help with this trunk over here? One or two things, huh? Ready? Let's go over here. My grandpa's old tool set. And his original plans for the house. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. No, oh, who doesn't want a chance to remodel, right? Plus, it gives me an excuse to watch all the home reno shows I want. Next thing you know, I'll be flipping, I'll be flopping. I did want to do it myself, though. Listen, I understand, but Dane's people, they did an amazing job, OK? Because they left the entire foundation. They put up the perimeter wall so you can completely design the layout. <laughs> I mean, you can move the kitchen from over here to right here, get better sunlight during the day. Right here, you could add a little uh, breakfast nook. Who doesn't love breakfast, right? <laughs> and uh, this, if you extend the mud room out a little bit, you have an extra bedroom. Bedroom or an office? Or an office, anything you want. Now, this is your place. Colin, these are good ideas. I think they're all for tomorrow's work, though. Sounds good. I think I'm going to hit the hay, literally. What do you mean? I think I'm going to spend the night in the barn again tonight. By yourself? Well, with Dancer. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't implying that I would stay with you. I just, um, why not go back to the relief center? You know why? Because a really nice guy helped me fix up my bedroom in there. And I'd like to embrace that. Although the cots would probably be the smarter decision. <laughs> well, I'm going back there tonight myself. So if you need a ride, I'd be more than happy. Why? I thought your house is fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm just going to go back in case anybody needs any help from me. No. And think about it. Here, you have no running water. You don't have a working <laughs> washroom. <laughs> I, I think the relief center would be a better idea. So come back, be there with the townspeople and myself. You flipped me. <laughs> That's okay. That's funny. I used to have a jacket just like that. Oh, is that right? That's right. Huh. Come on, Dancer. Huh. Cleanup efforts are ongoing, and the mounting costs of damage are hitting residents very hard. Our thoughts and prayers go out to those suffering during this time. It looks great, you two. Hey. Did you get some uh, good photos? I got way too many photos. This is going to show the world what we're going through. Yeah, I got the same response. Everyone wanted to share their story. I get it. You know, it's, it's cathartic. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. It's my first draft. Nathan, this, this opening is really good. You can really write. I've asked the search and rescue teams to get pictures of the homes to me, so we could quickly build a page once they're all in. I haven't been as far over as the Santos. They have nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, Lonnie. Was this your house? We need more help than I thought. We should start uploading. We have uh, a limited internet connection today. I just really hope this works.
Got you a little lunch. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I have a question for you. OK. Mr. Colin, ladies' man. How come you haven't found a lady for yourself yet? I don't know that I've been a ladies' man for quite some time now. I'm not actually outgrown that. Uh, uh, don't avoid the question. Honestly? Honestly. My dad. I remember your dad. He left a few years back, no? Yeah. After he cheated on my mother more than once. I was the youngest of five boys, much younger than the other ones. And my mom was, I guess, just kind of worn out by the time that I came around. That might have been why I was such an unruly kid. Unruly. Is that what we're calling it? Well, she just didn't have the time or the energy to supervise me, and younger Colin might have taken advantage of that. But my mom, um, she was there for me in so many other ways, you know. She, uh, I wasn't a good student by any stretch. The kids made fun of me, but my mom, after taking care of five boys, after cooking dinners and cleaning the house and going through letters from my teachers, she would actually sit down and tutor me every night. And it worked. I got better grades. And I grew a few inches, and kids stopped making fun of me as much. Moms, you got to love them. Dads, not so much. Apparently, mine was. Uh, spending time all over town. My mom, she never talked about it you know, to any of us. One night, we were uh, at my brother's wedding. We're sitting there, just the two of us. And she finally told me everything that he had done, how badly he had hurt her. And uh, that was the night. That was the night that I promised her I would never be like him. I would never be my father. And I might have been the, the, the resident ladies' man, as you put it, but I never cheated. Never. But you can't spend your whole life pushing people away, though, Colin. That's worked so far. But hey, listen, you know, I want to make a suggestion, OK? We've made a lot of progress on this house. Great progress. Yes, we have. But we have some pretty big jobs coming up, like roofing, electrical, plumbing. So with your permission, I have some friends who could uh, probably help with that and get you in your home a little quicker. OK, I could be open to that. Huh? Great. <laughs> so, who are these mysterious friends of yours? Lauren, I don't know if you hey. remember any of my old friends, uh, but they just got done clearing the main road out to the highway. You got Dev. Oh. You got Sean and Siro. Yeah, yeah, Dev, good to see you again. Right, how have you been? Hey, take it easy. Oh. She's got a fiance, you know. I'm just saying hi. <laughs> Sean, good to see you. Zero, yeah. thank you, thank you. Well, Dev, how do you feel about plumbing? I feel great about plumbing. I had a job with a plumber back in college. Let me flush it out. No kidding. OK, well, I'm going to get started on the roof. Does anybody know much about electrical? Electrical, me and Sean. You got it. I thought I was going to get a no there. <laughs> Don't worry. We've done the circuit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, not that qualified, but I can lift heavy things. I'm sure you can, Zero. <laughs> Guys, this means so much to me, honestly. Thank you so, so much. Sorry. Oh, hey, this is really good news. What? Yeah, yeah it's Nathan. He says we're getting tons of media attention on the crowdfunding page. 
That's awesome. Oh, that's, that's so awesome. awesome. Now we just gotta wait and see if the world wants to help out. Oh, they will. They'll see how much damage the storm did. They'll help. I know. Just have faith. Okay, now, I tell Ciro which shingles to lift first. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started. We're friends. What? Okay, I have a fiance. Oh, okay. Why? I just, you know, I thought I was getting a vibe. No. No vibe. Okay. No vibe. Why? Did you did you pick up on a vibe or something? This is grade school. Should I pass a note for you during math class? <laughs> well, Colin kind of likes you. Really? Hmm? And you kind of like him. Yeah, I, I really like Colin as a friend. S seriously, he's been amazing to me throughout this whole storm situation. As a little kid, you liked him. As a big kid, you liked him. When he moved to Georgia, you liked him. And when he moved back, no surprises there, you liked him. I've got a fiance. Okay, Lauren. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe how much progress we've made on this house. Well, the Amish can build a barn in a day, so by that standard, we're kind of far behind schedule. <laughs> no, but seriously, your friends are really awesome. That zero can really lift heavy things. Yeah, they're all right, I guess. They're all right, and you're all right. Just take credit for what an awesome friend you've been. Friend, huh? Yes, you are helping me to rebuild my house. Well, I think I'm gonna spend the night here tonight. There's no interior of the house. How are you gonna do that? No, no, not in the house, in the barn. Plus, the house has running water, gas, everything I need. By yourself in the barn? No, with Dancer. Hey, right, Pop. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be staying the night at my place, so, you know, if you ever needed a place to crash. Are you trying to spend the night with me? No. I'm just <laughs> letting you know you didn't feel like staying at the barn by yourself. You have a place. So. Oh, well, that's sweet of you, but I'm a big girl. I got this. Just offering as a friend. Right, because that's what we are. Exactly. Friends.
Okay, well, I'm going to um, wash up at the house, and then head to the barn. Yeah, great. I'm going to get the truck and head back to the cabin. Yeah. All right, uh, you can take oh, sure. this. Thanks. All right, well, uh, good night, friend. Good night. Friend. Friends. <laughs> Friends. Colin, she is asleep in a barn by herself. What would your, what would your mother think if she knew this? You know what, he's not even that good looking. No matter how many times Ciro thinks he catches me checking him out, he's not. <sighs> he's so amazing though, he just doesn't see it. He saved entire families out there. He helped rebuild my house. <sighs> Friends, my foot. That's it. Colin, it's, it's me, it's Lauren. Um, why aren't you answering your door? Wait, you're at, you're at my place? Wait, you're not at your place? No, no, I'm, I'm at your place. What are you doing there? I, uh, I, 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 was, I was worried about you. Yeah, she started coming, check on you. What, what are you doing at my place? I got scared. Uh, yeah, I just, I was scared staying in the creepy barn by myself. You said it wasn't creepy. No, I know, but it, it turns out it is. Well, you're at my place, I'm at your place. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> why, don't you just, why don't you just crash at my place tonight and I'll stay here. Yeah, no, that, um, that sounds great. Very reasonable. Yeah, um, the, um, the key to the, the front door is there on the, the window seal. We'll all have a big laugh about this tomorrow, Lauren. I'm sure. I know. Okay, good night, Colin. It's my sleep, Lauren. All right, dancer, stay here, okay?
got fiance, man. He's got fiance. Can't do this. Answer? Is this you, buddy? What are you doing, Colin? Sleeping in a pink frilly bed. That's what you're doing. Talk to you. Okay. Is everything all right? No, actually, it's not. Okay. I. I really like you, Colin. I, I really like you. And actually, I came to apologize to you, too, for hating you all of those years after that stupid day at the picnic. Come on. Because I was just embarrassed. And I was really insecure, and I spent years trying to avoid you thinking that you were this horrible person, even though you're not at all. I was a horrible person. You're not a horrible person, Colin. You are smart, right? You're kind. You're a leader. And OK, I saw the furniture in your house. Wow, talk about talented. And you listen to me. You care about what I have to say. You care about other people, Colin. Do you know how rare that is? I like you. And if I'm being honest, I think you like me too. Lauren, you have a fiance. I mean, I, mean, I saw his pictures up in your bedroom. Barn room, whatever. You two seem incredibly happy together. You deserve him, all right? Because I was awful. I was. And I could have handled things so much differently, so much better, but I didn't. No, you were just pushing me away like you're doing right now. Lauren, how could I not like you? Tell me. You're at the top of the class. The best catch the most beautiful woman in town. You dedicate your whole life to helping children. You're smart, talented. You're an absolute boss with a nail gun. You give back to other people and you deserve the best. And Lord, that's not me. History has shown that it's not me. You deserve Dane. I broke up with Dane. When? That day that he, that he brought the crew over and I asked him not to. Why did you do that, Lauren? My gut. And because he never listened to me. Why don't you say something sooner? Because I was so tired of relationships, Colin. You know, and then there's this incredible guy standing right in front of me and and I couldn't help but fall for him
falling. I think I'm falling in love with you. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry, I thought I, I could, but I can't. What are you doing here, buddy? Is Lauren here? Lauren! Must have run off again. What do you need? Hey, yeah, um... Dancer's actually here at my place. Sorry about that. No, no, it's... It's fine, you're just supposed to run off again. Um... Listen, if you want, I, I could, um, you know, bring him back to your place. Could you drop him at my friend Paige's? At Paige's, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, Lauren, listen. Thank you. Let's get you back. <clears throat> Paige, hey. Dancer, you've been on your adventures again. Yes, yes. I'll keep him till Lauren gets back from teaching. Thanks. Paige, could you tell Lauren something for me? Tell Lauren what? Could you tell Lauren just to get this dog a leash? Thanks. I don't have to. 
tongue. Hope am I interrupting? No. Just thought you were dogs, all. Hmm. All right. What's going on? You know. This is a nice bench, man. Where'd you get it? Big box store by the highway. I know you didn't drive all this <laughs> way to talk about my bench, Ciro. You know, calling for a smart guy, you can be pretty dumb sometimes. Yep. Family tradition, I'm afraid. Man, you can't blame your dad for everything. I can blame him for a lot. Come on. Just talk to her. OK, tell her how you feel. She doesn't want to talk to me. She doesn't want to see me. That ship has sailed, my friend. Well, that's not necessarily true. What do you mean? Building her house. When you're together, there's like a, there's a vibe. There's a vibe? Yeah, what, well, we in high school, a vibe? Be serious. <laughs> Look, you know I mean? It's just my gut, but I think there's still a chance, man. You don't understand, Zero. You won't ever understand. No, Colin. You don't understand. What are you doing? Big guts. Sutter! Hey, buddy. Uh, I, hey, uh... listen. Not your turn to talk. All right. I'm going to talk, and you're going to listen. We've known Lauren's family for what? 40, 50 years? Brett, Allison, they're as good as they come. I know, sir. I, I'm I not know. Doing it. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm still talking. You were a teenager when we moved back here from Georgia. And since then, there's only been one woman. Only one. Lauren. The problem is, you think you're not good enough. But it's not true. Sutter, what Dad did listen, was... Listen, stop. Listen, this ain't about Dad. I'm not talking about Dad. I'm talking about you. You're a good man. You always have been. Even before this town needed a leader, before Lauren needed a new house. I don't need to tell you what mom and dad went through. Listen, they were look, hold on, mom. <laughs> mom has five sons, seven grandkids, and she's hoping for a few more. She talks more about the good years than the bad years. With what happened to mom, I promised her I would never hurt somebody like dad hurt her. And you I won't. Her. You won't. You are not dad. Tell me about Lauren. What? You can talk now. Oh. Well, I can't stop thinking about her, if that's what you mean. I, uh... I, I just want to be with her all the time. I mean, seeing, seeing that girl accomplish something, it's something that, behold, she gets this smile on her face. You know, it's, <laughs> she, she snores. She snores like a, like a, a grizzly bear. <laughs> she she wakes the dead with her snore. How do you know this? <laughs> never mind, never mind. <laughs> Sutter, I can't stop thinking about her. Well, there she is, teaching a bunch of third graders. And there's a man on his way to maybe take her away from you forever. Do you really love her? With all my heart. Yeah. Then don't let dad's behavior stop you from maybe being with her forever. Listen, deep down, you know you're better than that. Can I show you something? Yeah. What we got here? I'll put it up. I made that. <laughs> you made this? I made that. Why are you surprised? That's what I do. Wow. Think she'll like it? Yeah. Think it'll fit? You don't know if you don't try. You're right. You're right. I see the conversation went well. 
well as it could be. Uh, scale from one to 10, 9.5. <laughs> Shannon, I'll call you back. How's my Lauren? Dane, what are you doing here? I came to apologize. I want to make this work, me and you. Dane, we talked about this. You were right. I should have listened to you. I should never have sent those guys to build your house for you or sent you that furniture or that Italian marble tile. It's just my way of taking care of you. And yet you took this long to get here. <laughs> you chose your job. Dane. Look, look, I'm here now. I want to make this work. I am listening. But it's so much more than that. You know, after the storm hit, I realized what's important to me. And, and I also realized what's important to you. And those two things just aren't the same. <sighs> I love you. And I loved you, but your life is all condos, right? And, and big city living, and I'm all little kids, and home reno shows. <laughs> we can make this place work. We're going to get a place here. We're going to buy a home, and you're going to design it, and it's going to be fantastic. It's I already have a house here. I have a home, actually, a home that I built myself. I'm sorry, Dane. No, Lauren, I'm sorry. Lauren! Colin? Lauren. Lauren, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for pushing you away five years ago. Lauren, you're the most amazing woman I've ever met. Ever since I was a kid, I was always my best when I was with you. And I'm a better man when I am with you. When I've got to spend the rest of my life with you. I, I made you something. Lauren Christensen, would you marry me? <laughs> yes, yes, I will. That is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Right? Here, take, take a picture. Oh, shoot. Sure. I think she liked the ring. Oh, our boy finally did it. Hi. Oh, I guess you're happy for us too, aren't you, Nathan? Absolutely. Absolutely, but. Look at this. Look at this. Did, did we hit our fundraising goal? We have more than enough for everyone. We did it. We did Kids, it. we did it. We did it. We did it, we did it everybody. You should be so proud of yourself. Thank you. Okay, come here. Oh, this is amazing. May I? Yes, you may.
Our boy finally did it. What do you mean our boy finally did it? That was all of us. You and me. Mostly me. Somebody had to talk some sense into it. You're right. I just called you. <laughs> You're the man. The VIP. The big brother. Bees knees. Enough is enough. I get it already. <laughs> but I do appreciate it. <laughs> all that in a bag of chips. The big tuna. Fresh cut grass. Enough. <laughs> King of the jungle. Oh my. <laughs> King of the south. Pushing, and I've been pulling, trying to see what's there behind your eyes. Sorting through the lights. Would you open your doors? Either or I'm yours. Come. Steady as a beating drum, my love won't ever want to waver from your driftwood floating up onto the shore.